Hi, Fernando. Uh, regarding like uh, you have two units of the IPX925. So here I am testing it. I think we could have like several working ways. The first one I'm just showing like to have uh, one unit working as the transmitter and receiver in the same box. So basically right now you can see this HDMI cable which is connected to the uh, display over here and the input side which is connected to the camera. Uh, sorry, connect to the PC backside, and uh, here have a uh, unit. Unit we have the HDMI input which connects to the camera, and the output is connected to the monitor. And right now we basically have it working like this way, and they, we can set up work as a on by to video. And it's my country PC. Basically, we need to do we need to uh, use the X view for the who settings. So I'll just show you like step from step. So I will just back to the home page and go to the setting icon here. After we go to the setting icon, we can just search the device. Right after we found like all the uh, devices, and we can do is uh, the first step we can do is we need we need to do the upgrading. Okay, so uh, we can just let both system both devices and go to the upgrade option here. And then we open the view, and here we have like two different uh, formulas. One is for the KVM, one is for the uh, for it, for it working as the uh, transmitter or the video or receiver. So to have it working as a video, wall, so we just need to choose uh, choose this one as the uh, to do upgrading. Okay, then we can upgrade, then the system will just reboot, and we just wait, and then we can find the device back again. Okay, so to have it working as the uh, transmitter receiver in one box, basically we need to hit the setting icon here, right? Then the setting icon here, we need to uh, enter the password here. So we need to enter the password here, so just... Okay, so now we can have the option which is uh, make this device working as the encoder and uh, decoder in the same box. That's why I can have like the HDMI input and then HDMI output to the video wall. And so now with like only two boxes, but it can work as like uh, two inputs and two outputs. Okay, so here's go to the settings and we can go to the source and we can find out like we can have like two input source. One is 4K, another one is 1080p, right? And for the output, right, we also can find like two. Uh, if we can check, we can see like uh, both if the output and input are using the same IP address, right? That means like these two, uh, that means like this box is working at the transmitter and receiver at the same time. Okay, so now once we down this one, then we just go to the set. So we just set it and we need to do a video wall. I already did a video wall, I can just delay them and we start from the beginning. Okay, now I already delayed the video wall and basically right now you can see it's actually showing as the blue screen, right? So now I'm just going to read, uh, create the video wall. And then the name here I just make as uh, one by two. And then we have it as uh, one clump. Point two here. Uh, for the device type here, we need to choose the G uh, one hundred one U, which is for the IPX nine twenty five. So the IPM nine twenty five is going to be the M. Okay, so this is the difference. After we done that, we just hit the create button. Okay. After we see here we have one by two, then we need to bound the video knob, and we have the fifty and the fifty one. We can just drag the source. Accordingly to the box here, we drag 50 and then we can see the screen light up. That means this receiver is go to this screen. We have the 50 bung. Okay, so now we can see on each box we already have the IP connected. Then we can clip this window now. And now we can clip this one and exit this one. Then we can enter. Now we can just drag a source to the video wall. See how it works. Right. So now we got a 1x2 video wall. We can switch the source to the second one as well. Right. So basically, this one is uh, no problem. We can clear like unit. 
we can choose like different layouts as well. Here, um, we can just choose, let's uh, see, uh, all layouts. Or we can just customize layouts. Let's make it as a two by four. Then save. Okay, we can close this window now. So now we can just open like a drag a source to the screen, drag it here on here. So basically it's working as a call view, right? And drag one here, which is as a full screen. We also can have like the uh, overlap because this is the IPM, so you can suppose like the overlap function, right? Drag a source here. Okay, so basically this is the one way to make this working. Uh, test has two inputs and two outputs with two unit only. Okay, thank you.